Hi, everybody. This is Beth McCullough. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Iowa, and I do live videos every Tuesday night with my sweet husband, Steve. Hi, everybody. We are so glad you're here. If you are new tonight, please let us know so we can welcome you. It says on here, StreamYard slash Facebook, you can go there and grant permission for StreamYard to give us your name so we can see what you're commenting. You want to do that because you want to win Prize Patrol. Prize Patrol is hashtag Prize Patrol, all one word, but you need to grant StreamYard permission only once. You don't have to do it all the time. And any of the demonstrators that use StreamYard, once you've done it once, you will you will have granted permission forever. So how is everybody who's on tonight? Well, we've got Shirley from Cedar Rapids and Pat, Aurelia, uh, Tony, and Barb, and Jean, and Brenda. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining. Oh, Brenda Craft, it's her first time. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, our videos usually last 20 to 30 minutes. We have fun showing um, a fun folder other card. And Steve usually tells stories. We haven't talked about it. Do you have any stories tonight? Well... I just got done walk, walking the Alaskan Malamute, and he's a real dog. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we have... Will we see him walk across here? I, I'll, Yukon. I'll go get him in a few minutes. <laughs> he, he, he's something. Um, he belongs to my new daughter-in-law's best friend, who is with my new daughter-in-law in Florida. Here's Maya walking by. We're used to our 11-pound dogs. Yeah. That's the little dog. We'll, yes. we'll show you big dog in a few minutes. Yeah. But, so that's one of the stories I'll tell you tonight. Okay, so we are going to make this fun card. January 5th, the new catalog comes out, and there's a suite called Playing in the Rain, and I love it. This DSP looks like it's embossed, and um, I do paper shares. Actually, show them the paper share screen, and you get a half a sheet of every 12 by 12, and I have decimated my turtle and bunny um DSP sheet. I've used so much of it already. But this is super well, cute. We're on the, we're on the, the, product um, the product shares. It's $80 and you get the designer series paper, the specialty paper, ribbon and embellishments, a little bit of everything shipped to your door for $80. Just email me. I'll put a blog post up again tomorrow. But I've sold several of them, but I have a few more left that I can sell. So if you would like to support my business, even if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I think you'll really enjoy, like this card. You don't need the stamp set. You really just, um, here, I'm showing it. You really don't need the stamp set. You just need the designer series paper. So that is an option. And I have to tell you, the product shares really are a good deal. Um, she had me help her put together a spreadsheet where we divide out the cost of each of the items and, and right. figure out how much it will be for each share. So, so it's a good way to get uh, a smaller amount instead of having to pay the big amount. And I have noticed that not every single bit of everything that gets purchased gets used. What are you saying, Steve? I'm saying there's some surplus. I mean, it's, there's surplus. It's 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 good to have extra around in case you ever need it. <laughs> It'd just be nice if you ever needed it in some cases. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Can you put up the last chance banner? Um, today and tomorrow is the last day to get the items from the fall mini catalog. And again, this Thursday, January 5th, it's all new stuff all the time. So we are excited about that. Also, if you are new to Stampin' Up! and you don't have a demonstrator, I would be happy to send you the new catalogs and just email me. It's Beth at sign stamping with a G, stampingmom.com. Oh, I can't talk. Stampingmom.com and I'll send that to you. You got choked up. It was I got the, choked up. It was the G that did it. <laughs> so if you are here for the free card class and you want to make this card with me, get out some cardstock. A lot of times I just use white or inexpensive cardstock and I make a template. You need a piece of cardstock that's five and a half by 11. And then you need another piece of cardstock that's three by six. But the most important one is five and a half by 11. 
and I will show you how we're going to do it. I'm also going to show you the products. Um, I use the Rain or Shine Designer Series paper to decorate this. Um, I use the Beautifully Happy. This is a Celebration Level 2 stamp set. And I used the four, no, I used the Thank You out of that. This is a new embossing folder. It's called Cane Weave. It's super pretty. That is what the turtle and the bunny are sitting on. It adds a lot of texture. I use the second smallest layering circle to cut the flowers out. And they were cut out of the same piece of paper. You can see the circle where the bunny and the turtle came out. And then you can put a plain piece of white cardstock over here. But what I did was the second largest of the scallop contours, if you have that. So that is what I used. And let's get started. So first you need your piece of five and a half by 11 cardstock. Go ahead and put it in your trimmer or your scoreboard, depending on how you do it. And I'm going to give you the score marks. And Steve is actually going to put um, a screen up to say, oh, he's got it up already. Look at you, honey. You are good. Anticipation. Brenda is near Harrisburg. Steve goes to Harrisburg a lot for work, don't you, hon? I do. We and work with the FIA, the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Authority, and they're based in Harrisburg. So I've had the opportunity to go there several times. Can you go back up? There was some new people that I wanted to say. Um, so Brenda's on. Tamika. Tamika is is our friend from North Carolina. Um, Fran is on and Shelly. Thank you all for joining us. Okay. So here we go with the card base, five and a half by eleven. You're gonna score it at one and three fours, three and a half five and a quarter and seven. And I went ahead and did this already. And you're just going to do mountain, valley, mountain. So it looks like a big M. And then here's the rest of your card base. Okay. Super simple. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add, you know, it's funny. I meet with my joy team right before I come on. And then I move everything out of the way. Huh. So it's time for a story. Well, she's doing that. I'll tell you more about you. So when we, our kids were younger, before we got our Maya, we watched the movie Eight Below, Disney movie, wonderful movie, you should see it. And the main um, character dog is a female dog, um, Alaskan Malamute named Maya. And that is why we named our dog Maya, because we like this dog in the movie so much. Well, actually, the kids named her Maya, yeah. so our 11 come back. I did find the strips. There's four of these, and they're one and a half inches wide, five and a quarter inches long. And it's kind of, um, can you see it? Uh, water splatter on one side. On the other side is the pool party raindrops. And then on this one, it's mango and flamingo raindrops. And on the other side, I actually cut into some of the smaller turtles and animals that were embossed. But I have two of each of these strips. And I'm going to put them alternating in these four sections right here. Okay. So I wasn't necessarily following along with measurements. So what should I have You're explained? right. You're in the right place right now. Okay. Just stay there. So, yeah, the, the point was our kids named our little fluffy 10-pound dog, Maya. She is not a sled dog. Um, she's not even close. The irony is today we are dog sitting the dog just like the one in the movie. And his name is Yukon. And he's a gentle giant. He's very good with Maya. He's never, I have never seen him get upset, ever. And um, lets the other dogs, you know, walk around him and he doesn't have any problem whatsoever. Yeah, so. he, he really is a good dog. Our dogs are hypoallergenic and they don't shed hardly at all. He does shed. And he's got a very thick undercoat. So the bottom line is no matter how cold it is outside, he wants to be outside. This is his weather. So the, the other downside about dog sitting Yukon is he needs to walk a lot. So I've been averaging about four miles a day 
walking with him in the cold. Or is it eight miles a day, yes. four miles twice a day? Whatever it takes. So Beth has been laughing at me as I get bundled up on all my ski gear going out. To yeah, he, he had a headlight on his headlamp. A headlamp on tonight. I had um, ACL repair surgery in June, so I still can't walk more than a couple blocks. So I, I have not been on Yukon duty. Look how easy that is, you guys. Isn't that awesome? We're going to go on to the next thing. This is the second largest scallop contour die. And I just cut it out in basic white. It's just the place to put your sentiment. And I thought it looked pretty with the scallops and the stitching. So Tamika has a question. Can you buy the DSB today or do you have to wait? You, If you're a demonstrator, you can buy it today. If you are a customer, you have to wait until January 5th. So we're close either way. Who else has questions? Well, Paula's on from Wyoming. Hello, Paula. Fran says she has a doodle that's 75% poodle. I lose more hair than she does. Oh, that's that's funny. I um, You'll have to tell us if you like your um, doodle. Because, Steve, um, we lost my dear puppy about a month ago, unfortunately. And Steve is rallying for new puppy. I think we need to wait till we get done traveling. Um, although I'm the one who wanted the dogs. Our dogs um, were almost um, 15 and 17 years old. So we've had them for a long time. Okay, so this is another piece of flirty flamingo. It's three inches by six inches. And then I sported it three inches and I ran it through that cane embossing shoulder. And I really, really like the texture of this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna center it on the far left panel. You should tell me in the comments if you went ahead and made a template or if you're making the card with me or not. So I'm gonna center it up and down and right and left how I want it to be on here. And I'm gonna reach over here and see how it's gonna look on this side. And I'm just gonna glue down this side first and give it a minute. And then I'm gonna put the glue on the very edge of the other side. There's a method to my madness. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold this up accordion style like this because you want the card to be able to shut when you get it done. So that is all folded up and then you just put this piece down. So you can see when it's open, it sits nicely like this. But when it's closed, it goes like this. All right, now they got to see Yukon. He just came walking in. Did he come in? Good job, Yukon. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the sentiment. I took the thank you sentiment out of the um, Beautifully Happy stamp set. And just like the strips of paper, it isn't there either which is kind of a bummer, isn't it, hon? So I'm just gonna get a piece of paper and we're gonna let Steve cut it out. So I used Balmy Blue ink and one of the blending brushes. And I'm gonna put some, I like to dab it off so it doesn't, um, doesn't get too dark. And you don't have to do this. You could just leave it white. I guess clouds really are, clouds are probably white instead of blue. I just thought it looked good on here with a little blending of the blue. He's got the blue here and the blue in the flowers. So you can leave it white or you can just do a little faint blending. And then I'm gonna take the black memento ink and go ahead and stamp, thank you. Are you up for doing the stamp and cut and emboss machine, honey? I, I am, you get I'm extra trying, points for that tonight. I'm ready to give a chance. I, I, uh, I'm all into extra points. So, 
Okay, so I stamped the thank you. Now on the sample, this has stitching on the clouds. So this came from the Give It A Whirl dies. After I used those, I realized the, um, the rain dies. What is this called? Playing in the rain. It has its own cloud dies. So look at that. It doesn't have stitching, but it has three different size clouds. So if you want to run that through on that machine, just pull it back, put a plate on it. We'll see how he does. Okay, while he's doing that, I already ran through the turtle. And as you can see in the dies, there's a die to cut out the turtle with the flower. There's another die that cuts out this cute, happy bunny. And then I use the second smallest layering circle to cut out the flowers. So I'm gonna pop all those up on Stampin' Dimensionals and put those on and we'll see how Steve does with the cloud. How's it going over there, Steve? I'm on cloud nine. You're on cloud nine. So see, he's funny too. Look at that. Good job, honey. You know, he's pretty amazing. I'm a highly paid assistant stamp and demonstrator. Highly, highly paid. Oh, wait. I'm not highly paid. <laughs> so we met when we were 12 years old and um, he's just stuck with me, right? We're a good team. We are a good team. So I'm putting three dimensionals on the animals and two on the clouds. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas Can or a Happy you, New Year. And and the animals that you cut out, what DSP was that again? Um, That was from, I don't know the names of everything already, Rain With or Shine Designer Series Paper. Playing in the Rain dies from the Rain and Shine DSP. Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to stick the thank you. Am I on the screen up yeah. here? So what else is everybody what, saying? What other animals did you have to choose from on that paper? You know, there's a fox and a turtle. And there's kind of, you know, I'm not sure what else is there. I was so focused. I like the bunnies and the turtles. <laughs> So I'm going to put the bunny in the middle of this one, and I'm going to leave room for the flowers, too. So, Tamika, are you already a demonstrator so that you can go ahead and buy that? I know you were um, on the team with my um, demonstrator friend from North Carolina. And the flowers are cut with the second smallest layering circle dies. Correct. So we did not do much for New Year's. We started celebrating at noon and Which we were done by about eight o'clock. New Year's in Sydney, Australia. Okay. Is that if our friends from Australia are on tonight, they probably were celebrating about the time that we started. Yes. We started early and finished early. Okay, here we go. And the bunny's gonna go right here. Where'd the bunny go, Steve? I, I, I have never lost so many things. The bunny's on the, on the left. Yeah. I'll chase the bunny, it's no. just like the backyard. I had the bunny sitting here. I don't normally lose things. I'm normally very organized. Somebody vouch for me who's on every week. It doesn't matter. I will the vouch bunny, for you. The bunny goes right here. No. It just got caught on something. The bunnies are elusive. Yeah. So here's what the card looks like. It's super, super easy. And so we are going to do a drawing for Prize Patrol. And you can pick which one you want. The bunny, um, the brown bunny will be on here. He just hopped away temporarily. Have you guys made this fun fold before? Let me know what you think of it. And Steve is getting ready to do the prize patrol. Yeah, it's so funny. He was, he was right here. But I do love this card. I feel like it looks harder and it's, it's pretty simple. I have another card that I've been playing with. Can they see my screen or they just see prize patrol? 
Oh, there's 18 people. I did try to catch up on all the prizes. I think I've sent all the prizes that people won. So I think I am caught up and I'm going to stay organized and mail them right away. If so. there, if by any chance you are someone that has won something and you haven't received it, please just let us know. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes e life gets busy. E email me at Beth at stampingmom.com. Last year, um, in, in a few months, we had two kids get married, our dog died. We had lots of things happen. So things got a little out of control, but we're getting them under control again. So. Right. So help us out. Now, if you have not entered into our drawing yet, please enter hashtag prize patrol as a comment. All one word, lowercase is fine. Um, we've got 20 people signed up. Um, I'm going to jabber for a minute and um, let other people sign up. Um, Jude, if you would like to sign up for Prize Patrol for our drawing, type hashtag Prize Patrol into the comments. So, um, yeah. So I wish I could see the comments. He took them away from me. I love chatting with you. So, I'm all right. I think you've done oh, Fran loves the fun poll. Thank you, Fran. That makes me so happy. Okay, are you Paula's ready? never made this. Okay, 20 people. Card. Here we go. Here we go. You do have to email me, Beth, at sign stampingmom.com, and, and give me your snail mail address. Shelly. Shelly, yay. I know Shelly has won before. You still need to send me your address, though. Um, and let me know if you want the yellow bunny or the brown bunny. And... We are just excited to be back with you. We will be here again next Tuesday. I hope you'll invite your friends and come back. And um, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, put hashtag replay in the comments. And look, Chris was on. Chris is one of my dream team members that just made a card. Oh, hi, Tina. It's nice to see you. Thanks, everybody, for coming on tonight. Um, stay warm, have a blessed week, and please come back and see us again next week at 7. Bye, everybody. Bye.